What is up guys, Danny the side, so in this video, I'll walk you through Replit step by step in 2025. Whether you are a beginner, student, or even building a startup, Replit lets you code, collaborate, and deploy all in the browser. So let's get started. So first off, you need to head over to Google or any browser, and then in the search bar, type in Replit. After that, you will be redirected to this uh, login or sign up dashboard of Replit. So if you are new to Replit, just simply sign up with your email password under the credentials to create your new Replit account. And if you already have a Replit account, click on this login and then you will be automatically logged in to Replit. So first, let's talk about what is Replit. Replit is a browser-based IDE, which means you can write code run apps and even deploy websites directly from the browser. It supports over 50 plus programming languages like Python, JavaScript, C++, HTML, CSS and more. And with built-in AI like Ghostwriter, Replit doesn't just help you code, it helps you think, debug and build smarter. And as you can see here are the multiple plans of Replit. First one is the starter plan. And the second one is the Replit Core. And the third one is the Teams, which is uh, the Replit Core is of $25 a month. And the Teams one is $40 per month per user. I'll go with the free and I'll click on Start Creating. Now, after coming here, this is the home page of Replit. Once logged in, this is your dashboard. At the top, you will see Create button to start coding, a search bar to explore templates and tabs for my replits, teams and templates. Now let's create your first project or what replit calls it REPL. To create your first REPL, you just need to click on create a REPL or create app and it will show you the option of create with replit agent or you can choose a template. Here are some multiple templates that you can choose from. But if you want to create with Replit Agent, you can just click on this option and then describe the app or site you want to create. I'll choose a template like let's say Python. And then when I'll click on Replit, so it will uh, tell me about the uh, Python's Replit and about the extender. And when I choose a language, template of a language, uh, this is the title. I can also change the title like HTML temp. And after that, I can decide to keep it private or public. But uh, remember guys, if you want to keep it private, you need to purchase the pro version of Replit. So I'll just click on create app. And Boom guys, as you can see, your code editor is ready. This is the assistant. I can use it and it's just guiding me through this page. And from here, you will see three sections, the code editor in the center, the file manager on the left, and a console output window on the right. So as you can see from here, you can type in or add your code and from here you can ask the assistant to uh, make the customization for your project and you can give multiple commands like explain this code brainstorm new features optimize for mobile improve the visual design add dark mode toggle inspect for errors and as you can see uh, when you click on this icon this will preview your application or the project that you have created and this is the console to view the terminal output after running your code. Uh, let's say you go to external terminal to run your code, but you get an inbuilt console here so that you can open the terminal from here and you can uh, see the output of your code. And from here, you can create your own Replit database, which is integrated into your REPL. And from here, you can do the deployments like publish a live, stable, public version of your app unaffected by the changes you make in the workspace. And from here, when you click on this all tools, this will show you all the tools that are currently in your repo. 
so if you want to do some integrations you can click on this integrations button and then you can add some applications or you can integrate some applications to your REPL. This is the deployment section. This is the authority section. This is the database section. This is the object storage, like you can store the objects and persistent shared file storage, which can be accessed programmatically in your app. And this is the Replit key value storage. From here, you can store your key and value of Replits. And this is the security scanner to scan your app for vulnerabilities. And when you go under the collaboration section and when you click on chat, you can chat with collaborators that you have added in this REPL. And when you click on threads, you can comment and discuss topic with collaborators directly inside code or text files. And this is the workspace feature, like this is the personal assistant that has been assisted to you. And when you move to the next option, this is code search. When you click on this, you can search any line of code by just typing in in the search bar. This is the console and this is the dependencies. When you click on this, you can install, upgrade and manage dependencies for your environment, build system and application runtime. And this is the Git version control for your application or the project that you're building or for your REPL. And this is the networking to configure web server ports for your app. You can connect your custom web server ports to your application and this is the preview tab from where you can preview your project and when you click on this problem section uh, you can view all the problems that your collaborators or you have faced and are in the group to be solved and when you click on the secrets it stores sensitive information like the api keys securely in your app and no one could uh, watch it or use it without your permission when you click on the shell icon this directly accesses your app to a command line interface and this is the ssh configuration to remote access to connect this REPL from another machine or ide so let's say if you are a developer and your another friend who is a developer too is sitting in an another country or in another city or in another area you can just click on this ssh option and then configure your remote access so that your friend can connect to this REPL from another machine or another IDE. When you click on this VNC option, it says view your app's desktop and screen output. When you go to the workflows, you can configure different ways to run your app and you can configure your own workflow. When you go to this extension store, you can find and install workspace extensions that you want. And when you click on this document section, you can view rapid documentation to learn about workspace features, AI, deployments, and more. And when you click on user settings, these are the user settings that you can customize according to your requirements. And from here, as you can see, this is the run button. So when you are done with the code, simply click on this run button and this, this will run your code. And you can even change these settings to configure run command and so static and when you click on this manage workflows you can manage all your workflows from here and when you click on this open files this will open all your current files that are currently here present in this REPL and when you click on this assistant tab this will open your assistant so from here you can type in what you want to add like a feature or something else that you want to add to your project you can just simply type in and this will give you a custom code for your project that is based on your requirements. Now, let's just uh, run this uh, predefined or let's say pre written code of HTML. So I'll just click on stop. And when you see the option of run, click on it once, and then the console will automatically open here. So you can uh, do the changes in the console if you want to and a new preview tab will open where you can see the preview of your project that you have made. So this is how you can use Replit and from here you can invite all the team members that you want and you can deploy your project in on the internet. So this is how you can use Replit and this was a tutorial for Replit, how to use Replit and how beginners can get benefit from Replit. That was all for this video everyone. Thank you for watching.